Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are just joining us today, uh, well, I am JT Bear, I'm an obsessive compulsive pepper gardener and I have a huge problem with aphids. So, today I am making a natural pesticide that is supposed to be basically a cure-all slash kill-all sort of insecticide. I haven't made it previously because I have had ladybugs to kind of help me out. I don't anymore, so now, we're making a garlic spray. Stick around. So I'm just gonna take three whole bulbs of garlic here. I have no real idea if there's supposed to be any kind of, I don't know, measurements. Break them open a little bit, like so. Hope this crinkling isn't too bad on the camera. Take a massive cleaver, crunch everything down to help kind of release those juices. And we're going to throw this into some boiling water, let it cook for a while. So now that it's starting to come to a slight bubbling stage, we'll call it, I've gone ahead and thrown a handful of Epsom salts into this, because why not? I've heard it's good for the plants. And yeah, a couple more minutes and we'll throw that garlic in. Alright, I'm going to call that a much better boil. I'm just going to scrape these in here, skins and everything, because I want everything they've got to give me. All right, now that I've got those in there, I'm probably going to turn the stove down to, we'll say, medium. And we'll let those sit for half an hour, see what it looks like then. So here we are at a little bit over the half hour mark, and I'm just going to take my dollar store tater masher here and give them a good squish and get as much of that juice out as I can before I figure out how I'm going to strain this so we can use it as a spray. All right, so with that all mashed up, I'm going to bring this back to a, a gentle sort of boil and let it go for another 20 minutes or so. Then we'll strain it out. So now that this has had a chance to cool off a little bit, I'm just going to start straining it with these measuring cups. And then, time to put it in the sprayer. Probably dilute it quite a bit and test it out on those sap-sucking aphids. Well, all that's left now is to test it. Not sure how well it's showing up on this camera in this particular light, but this Carolina Reaper that we're looking at is, uh, well, it's got a lot of those little aphids on it. So, we're gonna start by spraying it and the devil's heart behind it and just kind of observe what happens to the plants over the next few weeks. So, if you want to see how this works out for me, check back for the Sundays in the Garden videos that follow. Alright everybody, I guess, uh, yeah, time to spray it on there. Okay, I want to be careful not to spray the LED that's overhead here. Because apparently, moisture and LED grow lights don't mix. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera, but I'm trying to give these plants a good blasting with this garlic spray and I'm really hoping it's gonna make a difference Let's pour a little Tabasco down here alright alright well here goes nothing I have in good faith sprayed everything growing down here in the basement I've got a, a lot of peppers that I'm really hoping will survive this winter, so I'm really hoping this works and I'm not going to give them some sort of garlic burn or whatever, kill them all off, that would be terrible. So yeah, like I said, uh, we'll do updates on how these plants are doing in the coming weeks of uh, Sundays in the Garden, although it's Sundays in the Dungeon now. And I guess that wraps it up. Thank you all for joining me in this uh, quick little garlic spray pesticide, natural pesticide type video. A little on the strange side, but yeah, here's to hoping it works. Alright, see you later everybody.